Okay, day three. Uh, fall development art. All art, art, fall development art practice. Something like that. Day three of this deliberate session of trying to improve my uh, art. So today um, is going to be a pretty natural continuation, actually, of what I worked on yesterday. Um, so yesterday I was working on uh, the process, so the six step process, 2D construction, 3D construction, block shadows, mass shadows, edges, and then half tones. Uh, and I did a copy of a Chris Legaspi drawing and I talked about how nice it was that I had um, the original raw photo that, that uh, Chris Legaspi drew from and then also his drawing. Uh, and one of the things that I noticed is that like that angle of the head, this particular angle that's like kind of this like downward looking, you know, a little bit off to the angle, like probably not 45 degrees, a bit more, but and looking downward is a difficult angle for me. Um, so what I did, what I want to do today uh, is focus on just doing the block in for that exact pose, but this time from the actual reference, so not looking at his drawing. Um, and then what I'm going to do is after I do the drawing, I'll also go through uh, and do like a Loomis head imprint over the uh, reference and I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, and I don't really want to talk about in the series like how to, do, how to use the Loomis method, how to do the Loomis method, things like that. There's so much great content um, uh, that's already out there on, on things like the Loomis method and the Riley method. And I'm happy to talk about the fact that I use them, um, but maybe I'll just like leave links in the description if you want to learn a bit more about, about how to use them. Um, for learning to draw the portrait, they're pretty amazing. Like I think there's probably, at least for me, no simpler method than Loomis and Riley for getting at least like a mostly accurate, like a mostly accurate construction of um, the human head. So highly, highly recommended uh, to use that method. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to do the, the Loomis method, Riley method of the reference. I'll do the drawing and then I'll do an imprint over the reference. Um, and if you don't know what that is, it's basically like if you were, were going to do this with pencil and paper, you would print out the reference and then you would draw on top of it, you would draw the Loomis method. Um, I'm going to do it digitally uh, just because it's a, it's a bit easier, a bit nicer. Um, and I'll do it in kind of this like, you'll see, I'll, I'll show it afterwards. Um, but this will kind of also give me some better understanding of like this deliberate practice on constructing this particular pose, you know, this downward, uh, you know, over 45 degree angle uh, look. Uh, and so, yeah, that's all there is for today. It should be a relatively quick drawing. I think I'd like a, a construction, 3D construction drawing only, only takes me, you know, 30, 45 minutes. So it's, it's not gonna be like full hour and a half drawing session today. Um, although I might end up doing more drawing later, let's see. And if so, I'll, um, I'll either append it into this video or add it into, into another video. But uh, I guess I'll just jump right into it.
Okay, so I just finished uh, the drawing. Um, and I would say overall, decently successful from what I was practicing with. I would say I'm actually like pretty happy with uh, this little drawing session. Um, again, I was deliberately focused on the 3D construction at this particular angle. So when I look at my drawing, you know, not even knowing what the reference is, just the drawing by itself, does it communicate somebody who is looking at this particular angle, so downward and a little bit over 45 degrees? Um, and I do see that in, the, in my drawing. Um, and, and I'll keep it up on the, up on the screen here too. Um, I do see that in my drawing. I think that there's probably some issues that um, need to be worked out. Maybe it's not uh, perfectly proportional in every area. Um, but I, I wasn't necessarily, like, I can work those mistakes out. If I put another 20 minutes into this, I could work those out. So I'm not as concerned about that aspect of this drawing. Again, like, what I was really focused on is, am I communicating this particular angle that is, you know, downward and, and a little over 45 degrees? Um, and I also want to say I did, like, two little sketches that I didn't record that were only, like, 30-second sketches, little warm-ups, where I drew some cubes that were oriented in the same way as the portrait and then I also drew um, some like really tiny like Loomis head method like 30 seconds we're talking that were also in this style uh, and so in this in this same positioning and the idea was to kind of like warm up my mind to kind of think about how the perspective should be how lines might be how you know this this uh, portrait might be sitting in space um, and I think uh, just to kind of catalog it here so that you can kind of understand maybe how I'm processing these kinds of drawings, like I did learn some actually really interesting things. So at one point in the drawing, I was really using like uh, pretty rigid lines. Like I was using, you know, straight construction lines. Like if I'm going to draw over my face, I would go here, 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 as opposed to doing, you know, a curve for the bottom of my face. Um, and at the end, I actually went back and I erased some of those lines and I started to put in some of these nice, like sweeping, you know, arch lines. So rather than, you know, ch -ch 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 -ch, like over along the side of the face, I did like one nice sweeping motion over the side. Um, and I did a few of these in different places to try and like really communicate how the gesture of the face is, like how it's the angle that it's looking at. Um, and I, I mean, this is something now that I'm going to try and take away from this, where I'm doing some of these more difficult portraits, where I need to, once I have the construction in place and I'm kind of confident that, you know, everything proportionally is sitting more or less correct, then I can start to put in some of these gesture lines. Or, you know, I might even experiment in the future with the reverse of that, where I first put in the gesture lines and then I do the construction over it and try not to lose that, that gesture. Um, because that tends to be what happens. Like, generally, the further you go into a drawing, the more rigid it gets. Like the most gesture and most flow you have on your drawing is when there's the least amount of lines. Um, so there's kind of this balance and this trade-off and this is something that I was, you know, I think on, on these more difficult uh, poses, I need to think more about gesture is one of the things that I'm gonna kind of take away from here. So the next time I do a block in, which could be again tomorrow or even later today, uh, I'm not, not sure yet, uh, I'll start to think about this and like incorporating a bit more gesture. I might even do some, uh, this is the point of like, you know, life drawing or uh, drawing from life, like nude photo drawing, but with like a certain time limit, like only having, you know, three minutes, five minutes. The point of those super short drawings is that the thing that you can communicate in that time is the gesture of the pose. And so generally, the longer you work on a pose, the less, the more you take away from that gesture. It's kind of, there kind of becomes a tension between detail, gesture, detail, gesture. Um, and so, yeah, this is another thing that I'm, I'm kind of thinking about. Um, but overall, I'm pretty happy with the, the, uh, the drawing itself. Um, also, I did the Loomis head construction, uh, which I'm put up on the screen now too, so you can kind of see. I just did this digitally as like an overlay. Um, and again, I, I this was, found this super helpful. Uh, I think that, it, you know, I was actually thinking about things very well as I was drawing and kind of seeing it the same way. Um, and so I can kind of use this to reinforce what I learned. Um, and actually a nice exercise is to go back in and draw again now the Loomis head as I have it here. Uh, with Like draw it directly from this reference. And the idea is that this should kind of further cauterize the knowledge that I'm kind of building up on how to approach this difficult angle of the head. Um, and then the other thing is you have to do, you know, 15 more of these. To, this is not the first time I've drawn this angle of the head. I've probably drawn this angle 25, 30 times in my life. 
Um, and each time you get a little bit better, you learn a little bit more, it progresses a little bit. Um, so it's likely that I'll be doing more of these in this exact session, maybe even this sequence. I, I tend to like to bun bunch these things up, but it also helps to, it's also good to let them breathe sometimes to like do a couple of these, take a break from it for a couple of weeks and then come back to it and kind of see where you're at. Um, but I think that's everything for day three. So uh, we will see each other again tomorrow. Bye-bye.